Hello, welcome back to the Cricket Nerds. Me and Benji talking about franchise cricket. Um, and it's literally just going to be a conversation with us two that we're recording. So, yeah. Um, yeah, franchise cricket is an interesting one because it's, you could argue both ways that it is saving and ruining the game. Yeah. Um, now, we've, it's been the hundreds currently going on. There is uh, also the Lanka Premier League that I believe is happening right now. The GT20 Canada has just finished. So is the Major League Cricket Tournament. I think the CPL is due CPL to start soon. soon. Yeah, there's about a million tournaments going on at the minute. It's yeah. packed out schedule, isn't it? It is. And it's basically almost like a question for you guys watching or listening. Um, do you think it's helping or hindering or both? And I think both is probably the answer that I'm going to end up going for. Yeah, I I reckon we're going to get firm splinters today from sitting firmly on the fence with this yeah. with this whole point. But it's an interesting conversation to have, and I think it's a good one to have because yeah, while franchise cricket, look, it's awesome, it's fun. Like the hundreds, you actually see some really good good cricket in there. It's the third year we've we've had the hundred. People have got their doubts about it. You've got some traditionalists who you know aren't fussed about it at all. But it's a good day, and like. <clears throat> I, I don't know if, if if you found but like at my club all of the kids that like are doing softball and, and quick cricket are obsessed with it like they're all Trent Rockets the Trent Rockets that's that's the only thing that, that they're bothered about um is 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 the hundreds and I think it's I think in that sense in terms of getting new blood into the game of cricket that we all love it's so good um and and <clears throat> especially <clears throat> especially in the women's game as well. And the fact that they've been able to have the women's game with double headers with, with the men's game, which is something that we've not really seen before the hundred came around. It's just, it's just really good for the game of cricket. However, I think what we're seeing as well, and then like a negative side of things is we're getting players that have got like franchise fatigue. Mm. So we saw Alex Hales this year, who still hasn't played an IPL game after all these years. <laughs> pull out of the IPL because of a packed schedule with T20 leagues around the league, uh, uh, around the world and, and playing for England. So you can see it has positive and negative effects on, on all these players. And yeah, as, as you said, this is going to be our conversation that we're going to have now, but please continue it in the comments. What do you like and what do you not like about these franchises? Yeah. I'd say there are potentially two sides on the, there are two sides of the coin on the negative impact. There's the impact on the domestic level circuits yeah. so if we're looking at this on a um like an england based view um but i guess you could look at it from any country you know australia with the shield cricket england with county cricket yeah um india with the side most trophy yeah and uh vj hazari i think that's what it's called and the Randy trophy that's not and the Randy like trophy that. of course yeah um but yeah you know on on all the domestic levels you, you see this impact but also you see it with the international stuff. Mm. So I think if I try and unpick the domestic stuff first, the 100 right now, like you said, is really good for the kids. And I think we are going to see like a generation of of cricketers that were first inspired by the 100. Mm. Um, that being said, who's watching the One Day Cup right now? Is it Royal London One Day Cup? I don't even yeah. know. Metro Bank. Metro Bank, there we go. Like, you know, it's 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 so far on a back burner and it's just like the the people that didn't get hundred contracts, that's who's in it. It's yeah, it 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 is funny. Like if you go back 10, 15 years, the one day cup was like the pinnacle of one day cricket. Like the one day cup was every, like that was what the teams were aiming for in in, in the white ball. And then it sort of became and, and merged towards the blast becoming this trophy that that everyone wanted. But yeah, the one day cup, it's it's basically a second eleven championship now. Yeah. Like it's being played at all the the outgrounds. Like I think there was a game to today, they weren't anywhere near Trent Bridge. No, no, no. For knots, they were playing in, in Silverdale, I think. Or or not even that, Stapleford, somewhere. They were playing at really? one of the other grounds. That's yeah. So one really. of like the the lesser grounds um, around there you go 
Well, yeah. It, it, anyway. <laughs> oh, somewhere in Hampshire. Okay, there you go. Yeah. But somewhere that's, again, like, again, who knows where that stadium is? It's going to be about nine people there. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And and, and as you say, like, I, I, I'd love to speak to my, my dad about this because he was saying how um, how much, yeah, the One Day Cup used to be this this massive thing for, for cricket. And now mm. I think because the ECB decided they don't want it on at the same time as the Ashes, because they want, you know, the top tier English players to not have distraction from from uh, the hundred with, you know, their Ashes contracts. Yeah, they've they've given it its own window in the calendar. But one thing's had to give, and and, and that's been the one day cup, which is yeah. a shame, really. One thing I do worry about is, like you say, like you know, some people um, that potentially before the advent of T Twenty came along. The, the one day cricket was the new exciting form mm. of cricket or yeah. it was like the high octane stuff um and you know since we're seeing short and short formats like you know you see not even t20 we see the hundred which is you know it's a bit novelty it's for the tiktok generation James. it is yeah <laughs> but then you also get like the abu dhabi t10 mm. the 60 in um in, in the west indies are we just going to see this game getting shorter and shorter? Um, yeah, fives next. They will be playing fives. Yeah, and I'm I'm not sure I'm I'm up for that. To but... be fair, we played a six aside tournament recently. We did. That was great fun, knackering but great fun. Yeah, and like, actually... but I, I don't think I'd watch it on TV. No, but imagine if if you saw like like Joss Butler in a. In a T ten in 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 a six aside game, only four fielders. He'd be hitting boundary after boundary. It'll be it'll be great. They'd be scoring yeah, one hundred and twenty. But at what point does it just like, you know, it kind of becomes nothing. It, yeah. it dilutes it too much, and that's the worry about franchise cricket in general. Mm. It dilutes cricket, um, and you can say that about the the schedule for international cricket as well. Yeah, you know, it just dilutes it. You, it kind of loses all meaning. Like, so what? They won the IPL, but you know. And we're seeing like franchises spread across different tournaments as well. So it's like, brilliant. Mumbai Indians won the IPL, but they didn't win the MLC or the SA20 or the ILT20. Well, I, so what's the point? Well, actually, it's... Mumbai Indian, MI New York. Yeah, well, the whatever. Like, and, 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 and if we, unless we forget, I think it was Chennai Super Kings that won the, um, I think, I think Chennai Super Kings won, 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 won the IPL. Oh, that's <laughs> correct. Well, either way, maybe maybe I'm just salty because Saint Lucia Kings have won, but Punjab Kings haven't. Um, but yeah, like it's, I think it does dilute it a little bit, mm. and it that's the worry. That being said, the short form of the game has impacted the longest form, the the greatest form of the game in Test cricket, mm. in I would say potentially a positive way, because it's. It is more exciting now. There are more than one. There is more than one way to play the game, mm. and I think if the likes of you know Brian Lara or Viv Richards had been allowed <laughs> to play with the absolute freedom of yeah. of Basball, they they would have had a great time. I mean, they they were incredible players anyway. But you know, just imagine if they could hit the reverse scoop as well. It would have been it would have been such entertaining stuff to watch. Yeah. One one worry that I have in terms of the franchise is that we say it's bringing this new generation of cricketers in, so it's bringing this new generation of 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 cricket fans. You see again, all the kids at softball in our clubs obsessed with Trent Rockets. Mm. But I suppose the real worry is how many of those kids are going to go on to go to day three of a test match. Like like. Like, would are they going to fall through to actually wanting to play, you know, forty-five over cricket on a weekend? Are they going to want to be watching a test match? That you, you, you know, both of us, we'd love to go out there and play a three-day match, mm. ninety overs in the day, two innings each. We'd have a great time playing that. Let's do it. But which, <laughs> which of those kids would would want that? Well, I think we have to give credit to people mm. as 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 cricket fans. I think one thing that people don't do is give like sort of the the amateur or part time cricket fans enough credit mm. because in the England in 
in England, there were so many people that loved the Ashes that uh, you know don't watch any other cricket. They're not interested by any other cricket, but the Ashes is what really brings it alive for mm. them. And like I got texts from so many people that were saying, "Hey, so what what happens if it rains?" <laughs> or what does declare mean? Are we winning? Frustrating questions like these. Are we winning? Yeah. Block. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you blocked that person. But, but like it's it's refreshing to have these kind of questions from mm. people that previously had no interest in cricket. Yeah, for sure. So I think it's you can't just say, oh, well, there's franchise stuff going on, so nobody's gonna like Test cricket. Test cricket is is the heart of cricket. It's the the history. It's the cricket that people recognise. Yeah. So, and I I think so much happens within journalism where people just catastrophize so much. It's like, oh, cricket's dying. Look, if you if you believe the papers, cricket has been dying for the last like forty years. It's like, well, this is a very slow death. And it's probably thriving. It's and and of recent days, it's probably thriving as much as it has in the country. Anyway, yeah. what 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 I would say is, and, and and I think this is probably where we want to go with this is is that with with cricket, you know, these shorter forms of the game coming in and, and being such you know a draw to new players. With I say we're talking about everything we hear in the hundred is about inspiring lots of boys and girls to want to play cricket and want to play professional cricket when they get older, and actually. <clears throat> As long as the intention of that is, you know, they there's a pathway there to get them interested in the Red Bull, to get them interested in that longer form. Yeah, are they going to go and watch a county championship match? Probably not, because it's in the middle of the week and you have to be retired to go. Mm. Yeah. Unless you go for like a session on like a weekend. But, but realistically, yeah, as long as there's a... I, and I think this is where you can then come in with a counter argument with how beneficial this can be for the game because it's bringing people into the game. It's going to get people that cricketing book. And as soon as someone gets the cricketing book, you're a case in point. Yeah. You didn't know the rules of cricket and now you're doing a podcast about it and you're yeah. obsessed with Red Bull cricket. It's yeah. Just- it has that effect on people, I think. And, and I, as you say, yeah, I think we're probably doing people a disservice by not having that faith that it will bring people through to that bit of the game. With that, I think underlying or, yeah, uh, just underneath all of this um, comes the the necessity for whichever cricketing board it is that is organising these franchise tournaments, they need to be reinvesting the money Mm. that they're making. It can't just be a, well, we're looking for the big bonuses type thing. It can't be that. Because then it will die. Because, you know, big big CEOs come and go and they, they don't reinvest the money. Whereas if the money is being put back into grassroots, is being put back into the the development of good players, that's where you're going to see cricket growing. Yeah, Club agree. cricket in England is the, the lifeblood of the game. Um, I'm sure it's... I mean, in India, like, you know, you... I I would we'd love to go at some point, but cricket's getting played everywhere, mm-hmm. and the more grounds and the more sort of facilities that are being made, the more incredible cricketers are being yeah. discovered. Yeah. Sure. Um. In America, if they can get this MLC off the ground, and they can then create like cricket academies mm-hmm. in Texas, New York, and wherever else, then that's going to be so good for the game yeah. so it, that, that's what it comes back to west indies i don't think they've really reinvested and that's why they're struggling so much and it's it's so sad to see because you really want to see west indies doing well mm. yeah I, and yeah you you you're totally right and i think that's it is going to be important for the life of of, of the game and actually the ecb to their credit are quite good at this mm. it's like you see every club has got an ability to get an ecb grant to build a new net lane or to um have a pavilion read and like yeah. that there, there is that support there and, and, and as you say it is really important and um, in terms of the 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 franchises around the world and and speaking about india in itself we were talking earlier that, that rohit sharma has come out recently and said india haven't got a number four 
in for, for, for ODI. Mm. Test, fine, but for ODI. Now, I don't know what you think about this, but but if the BCCI allowed their players to play in these leagues around the world, like how awesome would it be to see Virat Kohli opening the batting for overly invincibles? Like it would just be like the, the, the crowds that that would get would be ridiculous. It it would it would be brilliant. Um and I think potentially India have seen a yeah, have suffered for it mm. because outside of the IPL, which is obviously it's, it feels like an age when it's going on, mm. but it's actually a relatively short tournament in the grand scheme of things. Outside of that, they only really play bilaterals to get their T20s in. Like a lot of the um the international players don't really play in the side Mushtakali trophy. Yeah. So <laughs> where are they getting their T20 fix? Where are they, you know, perfecting it? And you see that India fails so many times in the in these tournaments, um, in the Cricket World Cups, T20 and and 50 over, and is you know potentially fueled by the fact that their their white ball players, especially white ball specialists, aren't getting enough cricket around the year sky he'd be a marquee player he'd be in that top bracket easy oh and, without a doubt and, and it would make them a lot more money as well yeah and i think that um, the ship sailed now surely for the bcci to say we've got a monopoly on indian players because all of those franchises that are you know taking over the world i feel like it's it's only a matter of time before we see surya kumar yadav play for Mumbai Indians, New York, Mumbai, Mumbai Indians, Indians, Cape Town, Cape Town, and mm. Mumbai Indians, Delhi. No, M- Mumbai D- Indians, D- Dubai. Was it? Was it my Dubai? Can't remember now. E- I can't remember either. Wherever it was, M- Mumbai Indians, Emirates. Yeah, MI Emirates. Yeah, yeah, you're all right. Go. Dubai Capitals. That's the one. MI Emirates, Dubai Capitals, Joe yeah. Root. Yeah. yeah any- anyway, that's our kind of ramblings. Um, Maybe India could find their new number four because of franchise cricket if they if they give it a go. But yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we will yeah try and find some more things to talk about. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let us know what you want to us to chat about. Yeah, do you want to see hundred content? Do you want to see more franchise following? Do you want us to? focus on india versus west indies no it's finished now mm. you know we're going to be ramping up towards the the world cup of course that's in november but there's loads of time between now and then do you want us to do some gopro videos mm. that's always fun to do it takes ages but we can do some gopro stuff i can bolt the james in the net so you know take his middle stump every three balls oh which cheers be, mate yeah it would be <laughs> you know great fun so let us know what what you want to see um as we say every single time we appreciate everyone for their support. Um, leave a like, leave a comment. All of our information is in the description, in the link tree. Post on the subreddit. Let's have a conversation in the subreddit about franchise cricket. Mm. Um, or if you can just send us some good memes. Like, we need to laugh every now and again. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, if you've got any cricketing memes, please send them to either our Instagram or preferably the subreddit. Um, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.